You might say I'm from everywhere there's trouble brewing and hell waiting to be raised. You might say I'm what hell's already raised up. Name's Rango. Oh. Hi, dude is back, baby. It's been back for like two weeks now, but you know, seasonal depression, a sickeningly horrible sleep schedule, and general anxiety prevented me from reviewing the first subset of skins. So before we go into the new high noon stuff, let's do a rapid rapid fire skin review of Last Patch's skins. Leona has way too many skins at this point, but this one is so phenomenal in its quality and distinct from the rest of the high noon skins that it's easily the best of wave one. Nine out of ten. Warkaiser's fine, making the mechanical devil is cool, but it's obviously wasn't going to be better than Project. Plus, the top hat business fan version and the concept art is way better in my opinion. Seven out of ten. Katarina's way describes the baseline for what a high noon skin could be, but because of that, it feels rather boring and honestly just feels like she was shoehorned into the skin line because popular champion XD, 6 out of 10. Varus is supposed to be a dead angel, but doesn't look like one in the slightest, so while his skin's nice, it doesn't deliver on its promised thematic, 6 out of 10. Like Varus, Talon's skin doesn't deliver on its promises either. He's supposed to be a devil tainted with the blood of an angel, but it just looks like Varus with a different weapon, 5 out of 10. Prestige Talon is a step in the right direction after we'd already taken 5 steps back for Prestige skin, so while this one's better than the last one, it comes across as an off-brand Arcana skin rather than a High Noon one, 4 out of 10. <sighs> and with that, we get into the new stuff, starting with High Noon Tom Kench. Thanks to Leona's splash art, we were teased that Tom might have been on the way, and now that he's here, I am anything but disappointed. It really speaks volumes about Tom Kench's design that they can change him so much with every incarnation, and he's still easily recognizable. I love that while he is one of the few destined to defeat Mordekaiser, he is still a devil. Not really taking any sides and doing it mostly for his own gain, it's very Tom Kench to me and totally comes across in his design. Tom Kench doesn't get skins very often, but they're always certified bangers. Obsidian is the best chroma, 10 out of 10. High Noon Scion. And now we go from exceeding expectations to absolutely crushing them. It was my hope that Scion would fulfill the promised train aesthetic Mordekaiser failed to, and while he does have train tracks in his alt form, everything else about the skin feels so visually cluttered. He's supposed to be an automaton like Ash, a failed one at that, but it honestly comes across as a bootleg prestige skin, champagne pink and all. Not a fan of this one or any of his Cyberpunk 2077 looking ass chromas, Emerald is the least worst one, 3 out of 10. High Noon Samira. Not gonna lie, Katarina had me fuming. A gunslinger champion spinning and dashing all over the place? Sounds like a perfect fit for Samira, right? Or just slap some gun chambers on Katarina's dagger, sure. Thankfully, High Noon Samira is here, and her particle effects are absolutely flawless. But a lot like Katarina, design-wise, this feels kind of basic. Maybe my expectations were set a bit too high, but I was really hoping for that little bit of extra added flair to make this a truly great skin. Not to mention we got Yorix hatted. Again, Ruby is the best chroma, 7.5 out of 10. High Noon Twitch. High Noon Twitch. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong footage. In my opinion, this is one of the best skins the Ratman has in his catalog. Well, it does feel a little bit out of place in the High Noon universe, him and Victor both would honestly fit way more in the Omen of Dark universe. This is what I'm talking about with Samira when I say it needed a bit more visual flair. The sound design, the particle effects, the wings. He's the giant rat that makes all of the rules, and the rule is that you get this skin day one. Nomad is the best chroma, 9.5 out of 10. High Noon Victor. Been a long time since we got a Victor skin and goddamn this is a good one. Granted the model doesn't quite live up to the splasher and like Twitch it feels a bit out of place in the High Noon universe but it still looks great. It's unfortunate they made Victor the key villain of yet another skin line even if his backstory is a tad more tragic. I hope the next skin he gets in three years makes him a bit more of an anti-villain or even the hero of the story. It would be a very nice change of pace in my opinion. Obsidian is the best chroma, 9 out of 10. Overall Phase 2 of High Noon gets a 9 out of 10 for me. A lot of the gripes I had with Phase 1 were completely absent here. Champions that are a perfect fit for the skin line, adding new and unique concepts to the universe, and aside from one stinker, they all execute on their promised thematic nearly perfectly. But those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of High Noon Phase 2? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you like Phase 1 more? Are you still salty? Leona has gotten five skins since Rel's release even to go so far as to shove her into skin line Rel was literally made for? What the fuck?